Alright, since everybody despises my music, I guess I'm going to do a voiceover this time. But joke's on you, because my voice is even more annoying. Alright, so first, I'm just showing you what you need, which is a whisk, clearly. A little brush. Three empty containers. And the three colors that you need are wild red, well these are the ones I'm using, huckleberry blue, and this sunny yellow color, which is very runny by the way, and something to measure, because you only need three colors to make the entire rainbow, clearly. So to start off with orange, I did this and I would recommend using less red than I did, because my orange and red just ended up looking very similar. So. Also, the yellow stains like a bee. As you can see, my orange looks like red. My green. I wanted more of a lime green, but if you want more of a forest dark green, definitely add a lot more blue. I also didn't show making the purple, but clearly it's just red and blue mixed together. Also, that depends too. If you want more of a pink undertone, use more red. If you want more of a blue tone, use more blue. And these are just what my colors look like after I mix them. I'm doing all of this on mini house extensions, which are really good quality for the price. And anytime I change my hair, these are the only ones I use because I'm not going to spend hundreds of dollars on extensions, but I'm just going to change my hair in two months anyway. All I'm doing is grabbing aluminum foil, taking little sections, brushing on the color, and trying really hard not to let them touch the other hair, which is kind of inevitable. Continuing to put the color on, still. This yellow color is so, so liquidy. It stains everything. But the Beyond the Zone brand that I used for the red and the blue. They did not have a yellow color. Well, they might, but maybe they just didn't have it in stock. I got everything at Sally's. So. And I know not everyone likes this color green. I get it. But I like this color green. So. Clearly, I want to look like I walk out of the swamp. I don't know. I like it. Also, this blue color that I'm using right now. Very thick and hard to spread out, so I had to go over that. The blue and the purple twice. The purple one just decided to tone the extensions in some areas. I don't know why. Finally, we're at purple. Maybe I just didn't get the color throughout the hair. I don't know why it just toned some of the spots, only at the top, which is very weird. And then I just let them sit for probably, I think it was overnight actually. And this is probably the hardest part, is not getting the other colors wet while you're rinsing the other ones. Which, looking back at this, I probably should have rinsed yellow last. 
Also another tip is when you're rinsing them to towel dry in between each little section just to, to make sure there's no bleeding. The only thing that's left to do is let them towel dry. I usually let them dry overnight laying flat. I also made two wefts, so there's one underneath. I don't think you can really see. You can see at the pictures at the beginning with the straight hair, but you can place them anywhere. You can make them hidden and you can make them visible. This is just an easy way to color your hair without damaging your hair. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.